Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the chord changes to Blue Bossa, which is a composition by Kenny Dorham. And this was recently requested by one of my viewers, so I thought we would take a little look at it. So the way to play a Bossa Nova type bass line is the foundational sounds of the bass line comes from the root and the fifth of each chord. The first chord in the song is C minor 7, which contains these notes. C, B flat, G, B flat. And so we will play the root and the fifth of that chord to make our bass line in this type of way. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That is the foundational sound of this type of bass line. Of course, we can add in more notes, but, the, but those two notes are the basic sound which make up this bass line. So if we move on to the next chord, which is F minor seven, we would play something like this. One, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, F, two, C. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we will continue this for all of the chords. So the next chord would be B flat seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the same thing for D minor seven flat five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then for G7. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now I'm going to play an example chorus or two of this type of bass line just using the root and the fifth. After you've mastered that, now it's time to put in the thirds. So for C minor 7, the third is the E flat. C, E flat, G, B flat. So now it's time to add in the third. So let's put that in to our bass line. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going C, E flat, G, E flat. And we'll do the same thing for F minor 7. F, A flat, C, A flat. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Once you've mastered that, it's time to put in the seventh of each chord. So C minor seven, the seventh is B flat. C, E flat, G, B flat. And for F minor seven, the seventh is E flat. F, A flat, C, E flat. And so on for the rest of the chords in the progression. Thank you. 
final part of learning this bass line is to put in different rhythmic anticipations. So it sounds good just to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But it can get a bit dull and a bit boring after about five minutes. So we put in some extra rhythms to make the bass line sound more interesting. And this is where you have fun with this bass line. Change up the rhythms and make the bass line sound more interesting. So that just about wraps up this lesson. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. Thanks very much.